Amen. All right. Now, remember, we're operating in this world as well as operating in the kingdom. Do you understand what I mean? And, uh, of course, in this world, you know, uh, people have no way of judging anything unless somebody says something. Uh, but the kingdom operates uh, by a total different set of rules. Are you following me? Uh, so when the scriptures are admonishing us to walk in the spirit so that we don't won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, I'm going to talk about an aspect of, um, uh, of a part of this walk uh, still continuing on, what we're talking about, that we really truly uh, need to pay a whole lot of attention to because we really don't uh, pay a lot of attention to this particular area at all. And then we're going to go into scriptures and show you how that the Messiah himself, the King, Jesus, how that he uh, would often answer people based on what people thought in their minds. See, a lot of times in thoughts, we, we, we don't realize that we're, we're communicating. Anything that has voice, whether it has force of voice, force of spirit at all, it makes any difference or not, there's communication that is going on. If you can hear it, whether it be internal or external, then it is communication. Whether it's coming from you, coming from some spirit or something that arised up within your heart. And a lot of times we are um, making judgments on people, which, you know, you can judge righteous judgment, but I'm talking about uh, if something don't go up quite our way, rather than say something, we think that we're actually getting by because people cannot hear what we're thinking. And, of course, the scriptures emphatically tell us. And, and of course, you know, if we're going to understand, we're going to go to Hebrews, the fourth chapter, okay? If we're going to understand anything, um, the way that this kingdom operates, not only do we have to get control of the natural tongue, which is an unruly evil, and full of deadly part, but you must get control of your inner man, which is considered your spirit man. You've got to learn how to control even the speech of your thoughts. And so where if you can see that a lot of times you're bound in certain areas and you've done all the external things, saying, well, I've done this and I've done that and I've done this and I've done that, and yet your inward man has, is not being changed, then the truth is you haven't done nothing but actually go through the motions. You know, you put up a bunch of window dressing. Because your character and your nature, if you've done certain things and yet you're, it doesn't reflect the nature of Christ, then chances are you haven't made the transformation that the inward man should be making. See, the outward man is perishing day by day, but the inward man is supposed to be renewed. And the scriptures say words, and, and it talks like in a language like it's, you know, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. It means your mind, spirit. You know, you can sit here right now, and you can actually sing a song without force of breath being given to it, and you can understand every single word. Even while preaching is going on, there is um, a... a the, the, the Holy Spirit uses that form of, of that method to communicate to you what he wants you to understand. Amen. See, we hear words, but we perceive by thoughts. Yes, sir. We understand by thoughts. Amen. We do all our recollecting and discerning by thoughts. thoughts. I submit to you that that world of communication is more important than the words that come out of your mouth. Did y'all hear me? I told you we were going to the next level, didn't I? Next level thinking, all right? Hebrews, the fourth chapter, verse 12, look what the scripture says. Now listen to the book. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the what? The thoughts and what else? The intents of what? The of the heart. See, everything you do is all controlled from the inner, inner man. That's right. Everything you do, everything you say, the way you believe, the way you, you act, what you see played out is actually the, the inward man turned inside out. 
what you're putting your hands to, what you do, what you say is really the real you on the inside that's being made manifested. We got to start talking about this because if we've done all the other things on the external and stuff, we really got to do the washing and the cleansing on the internal. Jesus told the scribes and Pharisees, you clean the outside of the cup of the platter, but yet inside you are full of dead man's bones. He dealt with the spirit of the man. So we're going to have to get control of these thoughts because we curse people with thoughts. Um, I hope that we wouldn't. I hope we're not cursing anybody out with thoughts. Um, we um, All kind of communication and traffic is going on with thoughts. See, that's the reason why um, um, the so-called Christians and many of the Israelites cannot understand this this war that is spiritual because nobody is hitting on the things that only this type of ministry can bring forth. Nobody's keying in on the things that control um, our very nature. We need a transformation of our minds. We need a transformation of our attitude, and that takes place on the inside. Hallelujah. We need an inward man. So we can see from the word of God right here that the word, whenever it goes out, it hits every aspect of the body. It hits soul, it hits spirit, it hits joints, it hits marrow, and it discerns thoughts. Y'all hear that? Y'all are listening, saints? They discern thoughts and intents. Now remember, the Most High, when he judges, he's going to judge the very intent. Why you did what you did. Or why you did not do what you should have done. All right, he's going to judge the very thought and the intent of the man's heart. See, a lot of times we deceive with words, but then there's another power of influence that's working on the inside. Sometimes we don't disclose that we're really truly not with, as honest with people as we would like to make ourselves to be. Sometimes we're, 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 we're presenting and painting one picture, but really on the inside we're another person totally. I'm making any sense? Discerner of thoughts and the intents. This is what the word does. So when the word goes out, it's there to discern. Remember, um, anytime we're in Bible class, uh, in the school of teaching, for the learned, is there to perfect.